My name is Kevin Campbell. I'm one of the student teachers at the Cosmetology Academy at Douglas Education Center. And today we're going to be doing a how-to on how to do a sculptural nail. I've already prepped the nail. What involves with prepping is we're going to take off any of the shine on the nail. We also push the cuticle doing a, what's called a dry prep so there's nothing liquid involved. Any moisture will make the nail plate swell. And we just went in, got everything cleaned up, and gently shaped the nail. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do everything. First thing we're going to do is we are an exclusive Young Nails school. Young Nails is one of the companies that I personally really enjoy. And this product is called Protein Bond. What Protein Bond is, it creates a pH balance on the nail using enzymes that creates a better seal for the acrylic to adhere to the nail. We're going to do a coat the whole way over the whole nail. And we're going to let that dry for about 30 seconds. First thing I'm going to be using is called monomer. It is the liquid for acrylics. And we're going to be doing a pink and white or a French. So I have my pink powder called polymer. And I have my white powder called polymer also. And that'll give us our basic pink and white. So before we start laying the acrylic, what we're going to do is we're going to put a form on. Again, we use Young Nails. It's their forms. So you take it off and it feels like a sticker. Take it off the front. You're also going to remove the middle, place it on the back. And that gives you somewhere you can touch where you're not touching the stickiness. I'm going to grab her finger. I'm going to line it up. See it's the right size. And then this company tells you to create your form first. So I'm going to close the front of it so we have this triangle slightly formed. What this does is creates the C curve of the nail. Then I'm going to slide it up under her natural free edge. So I get a nice placement. I'm going to adhere it to the sides of her nails. And I'm going to pinch the front and the back to make sure it's in place. I'm going to gently grab, glide my hand down the sides. So I'm going to create the pink part first. I'm going to dip it, tap the side to let the moisture go. I dip it in the polymer to grab it the pearl, I'm going to set it in the middle. And acrylic is all about speed. And then we're going to shape it at the back end at the cuticle. And we gently pat it into place where we need it, staying off the back of the nail. Now to get a nice shape of the nail, it should be thinnest at the back, widest at the belly, and then thin again at the edge. So I place my first pearl, placing my second pearl. This one will be thicker. And we're going to blend that into our first application of the monomer and polymer. Gently creating that French. And if you need a little bit more, grab a little bit more. I'm going to let that dry for just a few seconds. How you know it's dry is I'll show you on the back part of the nail. If you can tap it and hear a clicking noise, it's dry. This doesn't have that really nice tap noise, so this part isn't even dry yet. So we're going to wait a few seconds. Now I know you at home, this is a little bit hard to see because I'm basically painting air. But what you're going to want is you'll see a gentle shape start on the nail and you'll see where the acrylic separates from the natural nail and you want to slightly echo the natural C-curve of the nail. But you want it to be back here so that as her nail grows out, she has length to it, and it gives you room as it grows out that you can do a fill in the back. I extend it right to the natural smile line, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my nail file to shape the C-curve even more. But before I can even touch it, I need to let it fully dry. So after my pink is completely dry, this is the noise you should hear nice tap, a clean tapping noise. Doesn't sound like... So, it's completely dry. I'm going to take my nail file. This is a 150 grit. And I'm going to gently shape that C curve. I'm not... In no way am I filing on the natural nail. Now, 
And on the natural now, you cannot go back and forth. On an artificial enhancement, you can. So that gives us a nice, pretty white, you can see C-curve on the nail. So the next thing I need to do is clean all that dust off. Dust will make the acrylic lift because it doesn't give a nice cohesion to the nail. And I'm using a nail brush, I'm grabbing a little bit of that. And all I'm doing is sweeping down the nail, just a couple strokes down, a few back and forth, just to clean that off. And I'm gonna take a little swiper and just clean that area up. So we have our nice pink, our natural now. Now we're gonna do the white. So once again, before you start the white, you need to protein bond that area. So we're gonna get right underneath the natural now, making sure we do the whole natural now and the ridges or edges of that natural now. And again, we need to wait for that to dry. Okay, so after we have the protein bond completely dry and ready for us to do the white, before you start anything, put your lid on your pink. Trust me, you don't want to spill your entire container. Place that off to the side, move your white up so it's an easy moving range for you. So once again, we're gonna go back, same process as the pink. We're gonna pick up a pearl of the white. And when you have a nice mix, it'll start to look like fluffy, happy snow. You're gonna place that right in the middle of the nail and then you're gonna to start to pat and work it into the shape that you're looking for. And if you go a little bit over the pink, it's not a big deal because when we do the cleanup filing, it won't matter, you'll never see it. I have as much acrylic as I need to do the shape of the nail. So what I'm doing now, I'm using the belly of my brush, which is the middle part, and gently shaping that nail up exactly how I want. My client wants one more of an almond shape today, so we're gonna shape it into that. And if you need a little bit more acrylic, as needed, just grab a little bit more. So I let the back portion of the nail, as far as the white is concerned, dry slightly. The reason I'm letting it do that is it gives me something to build on and sculpt on top of to finish out giving her the almond shape that she's looking for. And once again, the front should be about the thickness of a credit card when finished. So again, I'm just using the belly of the brush, getting in there, moving the acrylic exactly where I want it. I'm getting a very loose shape to start. And then I'm sweeping and pulling that acrylic so it's a nice shape. We're totally dry. We've had the white set up, get that nice tapping noise. Now, I've looked at it from every angle. It looks good. It's also important to turn and look and see what your client's gonna see. So, it's still very rough at this point. So, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna pull my e-file a little bit closer. I'm using a mandrel with a coarse bit on it just to give myself a general shape. What I'm gonna do is grab my clients and pull the skin on the side of the nails away, giving myself easy exposure. And I'm very gently using the body of the drill to shape the nail. And after I'm doing my general shape, I'm gonna take this form off so I can actually see what I'm working with a little bit easier. Set that off to the side. Snap this into place. Turn my file back on. And I'm working in a back and forth motion, not sitting in one place too long. 
you sit in one place too long, it'll build up heat on the client's natural nail plate underneath and they'll get a burning sensation. They will not be happy with you. And all I'm doing is working out any flaws in the nails that I see. Flaws being dips, um, high points on the nail, anything. You wanna give it a nice, smooth surface. So we've got it all shaped up, it feels pretty smooth. We're gonna go start moving into what I like to call finishing work on the nails. So we're gonna pick up our 150 nail file again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way down the sides, shape the nail into what the client desires. And what an almond shape is, is you're gonna go down the nail at about 30 degrees. At the end of the nail, you're gonna to go to about a 45 degree to give it the shape. 30 degrees, 45. And then you're just gonna smooth it so that it's a nice, even flow. To give you that 45. And give you that perfect almond shape. So once again, I look at it this way. I'll turn it upside down and look at it. Make sure that what she sees looks like what I see on my end. It's all about perspective. Have that shaped out nice for her. Clean up the side a little bit. And we have a pink and white. So the last step that I like to do is I will clean off the nail, get all of that off using a little bit of swipe on my brush. I'm gonna let that dry for about 10 seconds. Just needs to evaporate the alcohol and it'll pull it off very quickly. I'm gonna go back in with a buffing block to give it a nice smooth finish. I like to clean mine off with swipe. It helps get any of the bigger particles off the nails. Sometimes the bigger particles will scratch the surface. And if you find a highest point, just go in with your 150, buff that out so it's smooth, go back in with your buffing block. And it'll smooth it right back out for you. And we have a finished product.